Um, I didn't have a choice. I was ambushed. <laughs> uh, it was great, actually. I, um, I am so flattered to have the opportunity to give back, especially to the people of my home country, and especially something to do with something that's very close to my heart and something that I have personal experience with, and that is uh, cancer. So um, I, when I first heard about it, actually, I, I, w I was very thrilled about it. I mean, this is... This means a lot to me. It's it's very fulfilling. It's very rewarding for me to be able to have the opportunity to do this. Um, you know, I am 55 years of age. I've had a very very fortunate life, and uh, I think it's about time I started <laughs> giving something back. You know, um, it's 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 great. I'm just thrilled all around to be involved with the hospice. Yeah. I was very impressed by the hospice when I visited, um, by the uh, the energy and the dedication of the people, the staff. Um, it was a very friendly, very warm atmosphere. Uh, it's a great facility. It's really, really nice, and um, it uh, everyone's calling for other people and, and giving. It's a very loving and warm environment. And, uh, I've been in a lot of hospitals in the U.S., and it's not always like that, you know. Uh, it's uh, it's a very, very homey place, and, and I really get the sense that, that people who are working there are, are there for the right reasons and doing what they can to bring comfort to people when they need it the most. I, uh, I really enjoyed my visit to the hospice. Um, it really, like all of those situations in life for me, it really brings perspective. You know, um, I've, my entire adult life, I've been a musician and toured the world and played in front of people. And uh, as such, um, we don't have to accept a lot of responsibility. Uh, it's really grinding to, to do something, like to visit the hospice and, and to, to uh, immerse yourself in reality you know it's uh, that's something I always try and do I mean even before my involvement with the hospice I always try and be cognizant of of what's going on in the world and it's I think so many people are just it's easier to bury your head in the sand you know um, it's nice to to see people who are loving and dedicated and, and willing to help others and, and uh, like I said before I, I'm so thrilled to be part of that to be invited to to be able to contribute to that and I'm very looking forward to it Um, yeah, I got diagnosed in 2013 with uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma, so um, I, uh, I feel lucky about that because, I mean, no cancer is good, but, but they tell me if you're going to get one, get Hodgkin's, you know, so it, it's quite survivable and obviously I'm still here, you know, it just, um, I don't, you know, I'm sure it's been said many, many times before, I mean, it, when, when your doctor tells you you have cancer, uh, your entire world just falls apart, you know, it just falls in and, and it really forces you to rethink the priorities of life and I, I would like to think that I've always been the sort of person whose glass was half full as opposed to half empty but, but after that point it was full to the brim and it still is to this day, you know, so it, it's, life is, uh, is very ephemeral, it, it's very transient and, and I think we all take far for too much for granted. Um, and it's, it's sometimes we need these things to be reminded. I think um, I always said, you know, one of the great things about cancer, I got a, a grown-up haircut finally, you know, so, <laughs> when I did chemo, all my hair fell And I, because I wasn't happy being in, in my 50s and having long hair, and I could look at pictures of myself and think, oh, it doesn't look right. But, but there's, being a musician in a rock band and being a career musician, it, it becomes like a crutch, and I was so fearful to let go of it. And then I had chemo, and I had no choice, it fell out. And I didn't even have eyebrows, and I was on stage performing with Def Leppard in 2014. I was doing a particularly hardcore chemo, and, um, it just, it really brought me back to the essence of why I started playing guitar in the first place. There was no hair to hide behind, there was nothing. It was just naked, I was exposed and, and actually I, I took great comfort in that. I thought, okay, that, that's maybe I needed this lesson in my life, that uh, 
I'm a guitar player, I'm a musician, and I shouldn't, I shouldn't give a rat's arse about what my hair looks like. <laughs> but we all do, you know, it's just a human condition to, to care about things like that. And, and uh, you know, it's, I think there's a lot of lessons to be learned in everything in life, and it hasn't been all bad for me, you know. I, I feel very lucky with all this, and, and that's why, again, I'm, I'm really excited about being able to give back.